Good morning, everyone. Joseph here, Vets Hall, Junk Removal, Stafford, Virginia. I hope wherever you are, guys, you are staying busy and making money in junk removal as we get ready to kick 2019 to the curb and move into 2020. I wish you nothing but success in your junk removal business. I spoke to a gentleman last night who just started his junk removal business in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, four months ago. He wanted to know my opinion on Craigslist, about Craigslist. He said his experience with Craigslist thus far has been absolutely horrible, and he found that the cheapest customers all came from Craigslist. And I, I beg to differ with him because I have had amazing success with Craigslist. I hear a lot of people talking about how cheap customers are, how there's no value in uh, Craigslist customers, guys, and my experience has been like night and day compared to most individuals I talk to out there. Um, I asked him what kind of ad copy he's using on Craigslist, what kind of photos he's posting. For one, he didn't post photos. It was strictly uh, text ad. I told him that was the first mistake. You have to have pictures, guys. People are going to respond to pictures better than they will just to text. Um, what I told him to do was to just get a couple of his guys together, put them all in uniform, and uh, have a photo that the customer can relate to. Something professional looking, something with people smiling. And if you uh, browse my Craigslist ad ads on Craigslist Stafford, Virginia, you will see that I post a photo regularly of my employees and I side by side. We're even hugging and we're sitting on the tailgate of one of our trucks. Everybody's laughing, we're engaging with each other. We look like we're having a really good time. And that was by design, guys. Customers can relate to individuals in photos that are smiling. Plus, we're all in uniform. We're looking professional. Plus, we're sitting on the back tailgate of a wrapped truck. Um, so if you're not using photos, guys, you're really hurting yourself. But on top of that, don't use a bad photo. I have seen photos from junk removal companies where, like, the employee's back is towards the camera and he's carrying a box and you know he might have a uniform t-shirt on but that doesn't speak to the customer you have to have a photo guys that makes the customer feel good about calling you that imparts confidence on the customer and if that means guys buying your employees you know company t-shirts if you don't have uniforms then do that guys in one of my previous videos i talk about a way that you can get really inexpensive and i'll, I'll i dare say it cheap t-shirts for your employees so that at least you're wearing matching t-shirts at least you're wearing company t-shirts guys um and i also think that oh and by the way sometimes i post that photo that i'm talking about i'll call it the five guys photo put it that way just for uh, for clarity so sometimes i just post the five guys photos other times i post the uh five guys photo with um customer thumbs up photos and if you haven't watched my previous videos i'll explain it briefly guys customers like it when they see their peers their friends their neighbors people just like them are that are satisfied uh with vets hall truck removal service and the way i relay that information to the customer is going to be in one particular photo one style of photo every time i complete a junk removal job for a customer i simply ask the customer would it be okay if I take a customer photo with you, and if you liked my service, if I provided you amazing customer service, would you be willing to give me a thumbs up in the photo? And it's just like that. The customer's right next to me. I have my phone in my hand. I'm taking a selfie of the customer and I, and we're both like this, smiling and thumbs upping. That speaks volumes to individuals who are looking for junk removal services, and they are just sorting through the mounds and mounds of junk removal competition on craigslist guys if you do not post photos on your craigslist ad you're at a deficit already okay if you post a bad photo on your craigslist ad you're at a deficit already your ad copy i'm not saying it's you know it, it needs to be sterling it could be substandard but if you have good photos on your craigslist ad then that will help you if like i said if that means buying t-shirts for your employees then buy t-shirts for your employees guys take a photo that's engaging okay take it with a nice background um and you will and you know and utilize this to your advantage guys but i cannot say enough craigslist is one of the ways that i'm successful i love craigslist it's five dollars an ad i do an ad every 
couple days or so. I really haven't done many ads lately. I've been uh, spacing them further and further apart because my repeat customers has really been keeping me busy these days. But my tip for you today, guys, is to, if you've used Craigslist and you're not satisfied with Craigslist and you stop using it, to give another, give it another shot, but improve on your photos. Remember one of my mantras, ABI, always be improving, guys. Don't give up on something because it didn't work one time. Tweak it. Uh, find other ways to utilize it, you know, improve on your pictures, improve on your ad copy. And after you've exhausted every possible avenue of finding customers on Craigslist, if it's not for you, then give it up because um, every market is different, okay? If it doesn't work for you, then give it up. But make sure before you give it up, guys, you've used every possible way to gain customers on Craigslist. Additionally, on that five guys photo, whatever custom, whatever photo you decide to use, uh, if you can, okay, put your website name on that photo as well, so that or your website URL on that photo as well, so that when the customer sees your ad, they don't even need to have to click on your ad to be able to find out how to engage with you. That being said, that was my quick tip for you for the day. If you like the type of things I talk about, you can subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video on YouTube. If you're looking for junk removal, if you need junk removal in Northern Virginia, you can reach out to us by telephone at 540-657-VETS. You can find us online at VETSHALLJUNK.COM. That's VETSHALLJUNK.COM. I'm Joseph, owner of Vets Hall Junk Removal, and we are on the move making things happen. Hoo-wah. Talk to you next time. See ya.